So in much the same way as I did in this tutorial, what I want to do is create a special effect using uh, mirrors and the default price scene. So here we are with the default price scene. I've got my camera facing what I call north. There's an infinite plane there, and as in the other video, I'm going to modify the material of the infinite plane so it's a perfectly reflecting mirror. And at that point, I'm going to copy it and lift it up so it's facing itself. Quick rendering, you can see there's this bright line. Now by tilting this over, and I'm just going to do it freely along the z-axis slightly and taking the other one and tilting that one over to meet it more or less the same angle you get this splayed out effect and then by I'll copy and paste the plane that I've uh, at, the at the bottom there rotate it so it's vertical and modify the material for this one so it's fully black and you get this splayed out effect but also mostly pointing backwards and then by uh, modifying the camera position a bit, you can control the the degree of splay and how much of the effect comes forward. So this is going to be uh, like a, a thrust effect I want to uh, create here. So I'm just zooming the camera back so it's more central. And uh, you can see how it's fading out towards the edges, and that's quite key. So I'm just keep adjusting that and uh, getting it to fade out towards the outside like so and then I'll just let that render out right that's completed its render it didn't take very long and we'll just save that as our special effects uh, call it thrust so there you go I've had a go at uh, doing this already so I'll just uh, save that over the other file that I created and then I'll launch a fresh instance of Bryce to use this I'm going to use another one of uh, Philip Drawbridge's model uh, that's going to come out of the object library, so I'll just grab my spaceship from the object library. And here we go, and there it's called Warhead. Check, to bring it in. Okay, so we set this up, if we can, in the horizontal plane, because that will make life easier. So I'll just uh, rotate my ship around, give it a bit of an angle there, and get rid of this infinite plane, because I'm not going to need that in the final render. So that's my ship, and the aim here is to get the ship a bit further away from the camera because I can interact the ship with the space gas effect just enlarge it and get my special effect which I'm going to include over the top of this in front of the camera fairly close obviously the background's not suitable yet so we'll sort that out so sky and fog and I'm going to switch to custom sky and set the color swatch for the horizon color and the sky color to black and then hold the Alt key down. I'm going to set this sun glow color to about half blue. Hold the Alt key down on the cloud height thumbnail to get rid of the clouds. Go into the Skylab, Sun and Moon, Celestial, Custom Field, Stars, Maximum Intensity, Maximum Amount. In Atmosphere, switch off Fog, Full Density for the Haze, one for the thickness. And that will have the effect, I'll just check out of here, of giving us some blue halos around the stars, but only above us, where we can't see at the moment. But like I say we set the scene up down here and then tilt the whole lot will make life easier for us. So I'll just uh, record this camera position and, and just tilt it back and you can see the effect of the glowing stars. And there's the blue sun glow colour on the sun as it is in its present position. Right, I'll just restore the camera position now. Go to the Create Library and use this uh, 2D picture object here, this little fella. Uh, click on that, click on an empty square, locate the special effect that you've saved, and then when that's loaded in, copy and paste that effect into the alpha channel. We're going to use that to, uh, to create a bit of a mask for our effect. So that's loaded in there, and I'm going to, and that's in front of the camera, which is fine because that's what I want. So I'll just bring that up to the camera, and then I'm going to cr create this effect by overlaying it. The material isn't quite right yet. Uh, you can see that sort of the effect there is it's looking a bit dim. Um, the reason for that when we do it will be because we're, go we're going to run it off the global ambient effect. So if we go into the material for this 2D thing, at the moment it's running off diffuse, that's no good. So get rid of diffuse, use ambience, full ambience and additive. So now that's got rid of that dark area around it and it's just the effect that we're adding on. So I'll check out of that now and make sure I'm providing full global ambience to run this effect and that'll be nice and bright. So the key now is to carefully position that effect over my thrust on the spaceship. 
So I, I reckon that's about there somewhere. And there's another thrust at the back here. I can't quite see that. So what I'll do is I'll rotate the spaceship a little bit more. So you can see that. I'll lift it up a bit so I can still keep the thrust more or less where it should be. Get me a hold of my 2D face here. Move it in a bit. It's a little bit fiddly aligning these things, but I want another thrust effect at the other side. So I can copy and paste my 2D face. Uh, that's Control C, Control V. But if I move this other one, you won't see the effect of it because it's colliding with the first one in the Z axis. So the key to this is to move it slightly on the Z axis so you've got two planes. They're going to shrink it slightly because it's further away. And then position that one over the other thrust if I can. So I've got the twin thrust effect. Now you can see this edge here, uh, but you can't see it in the final render because uh, it's invisible thanks to the masking used. So now I've got my thrust effects positioned over my spaceship. I need to select all these things together. This, So that's the effects and the ship and group them. And then in the tributes, link them to the perspective camera. So that now if I tilt my camera back, so I'll just switch to my camera view and tilt it back into space, then I can have the stars, the glowing star effect and everything stayed aligned. Otherwise it's quite difficult to position the thrusts as things stand if you've got everything tilted back because see, the wireframe views are all orthogonal and well just trust me it gets tricky you can try it for yourself. So that's not I'm not done yet but I'm going to save this as a, a so far so I'll call this uh, space ship thrust one. Occasionally the uh, perspective camera will reset itself back to ground level so if you've it's always a good idea just to uh, save as you go along anyway. Right, I want to move the sun round uh, so that it's up in the top left hand corner there. You can see on the little nano preview because I just want the light to be going on just on the outside of the ship and a bit of a blue from this um, sun glow to be cutting across there. So we're just getting like a sort of rim lighting on the ship there and to make the most of that effect I'll increase the diffuse and specular. I can render in the scene here to see how it's going. So that's uh, given me a bright rim light effect. But all this is quite dark, so I thought, as in the other video, I'd include the gas cloud. Now, it's important with including the glass cloud, gas cloud to avoid the gas cloud touching these 2D faces, which is why I've kept them quite separate, the effects quite separate from my ship. So I'll create a sphere, modify the material. We'll go for the Pro Materials again, which is free with 7.1 Pro. So if you could find your content, if you can't find your content, use Horrors PDF. I'll put a link somewhere down here, I think. So I want PAL and this uh, variant here that's this like blue and purple gas cloud. And I'll just modify the material and make it additive so it looks nice and bright and I'll see and then I can enlarge that so that it envelops my ship but not the 2D surfaces there because that would be bad. It would interfere with the volume material used. So I envelop my ship with gas cloud. So let's put some clouds there and then just I'll try rotating them until I get some effect that I like the look of. So I'm just trying to go by what I can see in the nano preview which isn't always easy. It's not, uh, it's not a massive preview effect so let's see got some gas clouds in there but it's sort of dominating the scene and I've some still managed to wrap it around my uh, 2D face so I'll just keep checking that so I'll just rotate the cloud a bit it's a bit random what you uh, what you get depends what angle you're looking for the, s the structures exist in 3D space but getting them aligned is uh, is tricky I'm just going by what I can see in the thumbnail I want a bit of a bit of gas cloud occurring but uh, I don't want it to dominate the scene too much and I want it to go over the top of the spaceship. Something like that, let's say. This this area here is is still a bit dark and I suppose we could include a secondary uh, light source just to just to provide a bit of extra detail in that area. It's a tricky maneuver so I'll create a light source down here, edit it. It's just going to act as a fill light so I try and work out it's just under the camera edit I'll have no fall off that'll make it quite bright and uh, I'll choose a, a dark blue color for this so a dark spacey color of some kind and we'll just set it at 5 for now let's see if that's having any effect by rendering in scene so it can be quite tricky to get the balance right with this so 
you can see now that's created a bit of a blue highlight on there. I'm just going to move that back down and back a bit to shift the highlight towards this bottom edge. So it's still got it going fairly dark, but it's just enough to pick out the spaceship then. So I'll just position my camera now by uh, narrowing the field of view a little bit to bring in to show us a bit more detail. But I don't want to go too close because it will have the effect of making the stars too big. But you can see uh, the, the effect there. And I'm going to pull back again. Just final adjustments. I don't know whether to have more light falling along the fuselage or less. I still want a bit of that blue glow up there, but I think that's more or less it. So I don't want to go on forever. I just wanted to show you how you could use some uh, fog and mirror effects in Bryce to create uh, sort of a special effect. You can overlay on your scenes like this, and it's supposed to look like the thrust of this spaceship. I suppose it could look like some kind of laser fire if you change the angle slightly you can compress these fading lines or make them spread out so uh, I just thought that was a nice quick special effect that you can put together for yourself with these volumetric clouds and glowing stars and if you've got it you can, or you can make your own spaceship I just uh, for speed used one of uh, Philip Drawbridge's models here and uh, I thought it turned out rather well okay then that's the end of the tutorial. Hope you found that enjoyable and you'll have a go at doing something like that yourself.